You already know it's Thomas Jackson, aka the GO, young underrated natural genius, influence and creative experiences. That's what make him young ice right there. The mad scientist. I'm like um, Albert Einstein when it comes to the music. I'm the greatest producer to ever do it. Life from some of the greatest, which is one of my uncles who incarcerated. Free him, Javon Wilkes, my mama's oldest brother. A lot of great producers in the game as well. It's like, you know, Swiss Beats, um, Ryan Leslie, them guys I look up to that made me who I am, like, and they describe my sound. You know, they call me Boss Lyric. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing Ice for a couple of years. You know, I, I ran, I met him to my homeboy Jers. You know what I'm saying? Ever since then, we've been rocking. I recorded a song with him, and we've just been rocking ever since. You ready to go practice? All right. Man, I've been doing this as long as I've been able to move my hands and feet. Which means the first day I stepped out the womb, like, I felt like I was probably beating in my mom's womb, like, just, you know, like, doing music, man, like, because it, it ran in my family. So, like, when I was young, I remember, like, my pops, he bought me a drum set, and I ended up busting it because, you know, I, was, I didn't know what I was doing, but I just fell in love with music, playing drums. Okay, here we go. So, if you can pay attention to the cover, like, that's me, that's me in pre-K graduating. And if you can zoom in, as you notice, call right back. I got my pops on the left-hand side, rest in peace to him. We got the same name. I'm going to join you with both our names, Thomas Jackson. And then we got Charlotte in the background. And then we got, of course, a mic. We got a mixing board. We got the speakers. Just basically giving them the timeline of my life. And I was at the house in the crib, you know, normally doing what I do, which is, you know, normally day at the office working. It was like, um, not the X part, and kind of like towards the end. I didn't know you was cutting He actually works with the artists. He don't let you record and just be like, oh yeah, that sounds good. If you hit the wrong note, he gonna stop you. He gonna tell you the note that you need to be on. He gonna re-record you. Every time you mess up, he coaches you through your song. He don't just let you record. And just to get your money, he's gonna help you to make that hit. Well, you know, he, he is a producer, so try not to catch the corona. Because, you know, you work with like a, a million people coming in here recording. You gotta make sure they strapped up with that mask. When I first heard about it, like, you know, you're going to take it like any other thing. Like, it's going to have you questioning. It's going to have you curious. Especially due to the fact, like, that it's something that we never experienced before. Writing songs. Well, I say like I actually came encountered with it, and the way it affected me was I was one of the ones that wasn't. Well, I was one of the ones that was asymptomatic. If I'm saying it right, where well, they say like you can have it, but you don't show symptoms, and like they say like if you you can't taste, you can't smell, then you know that you got it for a fact. And I didn't really have that symptom. Like I had like a light cough and stuff, and. I had a major crazy headache where some of the medications that I was taking, like ibuprofen, it really didn't do nothing for me. I caught the coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? I'm a victim. I'm a survivor of it. So that's why I say it hurts me. But I was able to 
save more money and you know what I'm saying accumulate more money during the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? But it just hurt me because I caught the coronavirus. It affected it in a good way and a bad way. The good way is that I'm still able to get out the bed and still be able to focus on my craft and focus on my journey as far as trying to keep continuing doing this music and getting farther than where I'm at. And on the bad note, I would say it affected it because the time that I was down, I wasn't able to really do what I love. And you know, when you're not able to do what you love, that kind of tame you a little bit. If you're gonna be out here doing this music, that's all I, I, I got to tell you is don't fall back, apply the pressure, push forward. Step on that gas and keep it, keep it going. That's what I got, that's all I need to tell you, you know what I'm saying, because that's all you need to know. Well, the words of encouragement that I would give somebody is that it's not an overnight success. Even though I feel like some people have had an overnight success because like they say, it's not what you know, it's who you know, and that's true too, but I feel like the ones that have it right now, they're just only there for temporary, but the ones who have it hard and they time don't come as quick as others, those are the ones that have a real story to tell and they are the ones that will experience longevity as myself. So I would say like, don't lose hope when you feel like you're not getting nowhere. Stay focused, stay dedicated, stay hungry no matter what. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not able to do this because anything that you put your mind to in life, you can able to do it if you believe and go hard with it.